Hello, welcome to Tea Bay Services. I'm Paddy from Creative Media, and today we're not doing a tasting. We're not yet. We might tasting do review, <laughs> but we're um, at Westmoreland yeah, Hotel, Westmoreland Hotel, which is a service station. Um, but what's so special about this service station? Well, it's so it's Tea Bay Services, and it's owned by I think the Westmoreland Services. So it's like owned by the same people as Gloucester Services who have the really nice organic farm shops and cafes that we go to when we travel to Birmingham. Um, they had this one first, it's in sort of in the Lake District um, and we just thought because we're travelling up to Scotland we'd see what it's like, see if the hotel is as nice as the service station really. Mm, and, and isn't the story of the service station that it, it used to be a farm and the motorway was due to be built through it and they decided to open a a kind of farm shop style service station I without all the Tesco's and, and um, McDonald's and Costa and I think so. Such like. Yeah, so yeah. like, you know, every other services we've stopped at has all the same places, so the Smiths and the Costas and the Starbucks and the kind of hideous fast food places. I mean, I quite like service stations anyway, <laughs> but they are a bit samey, whereas this one, you don't have any of that. You just have the farm shop, which is sort of nice organic food and tasteful toys and nice clothes um really nice coffees so it kind of feels like a lot a lot better quality and i think because service stations are expensive anyway you might as well just pay more and get nicer stuff um rather than paying more and just getting something that you buy on the high street so it kind of feels like it's a bit more of a premium service station um and we'd always joked or i'd always said hadn't i that i wanted to stay at the hotel but Mm. we've never been up to the northwest or not for a long time and never really had an excuse but then because we're going to northwest Scotland, we thought actually this was like right in the middle of the journey. So it seemed like a really good excuse to test out and see if the hotel would be as nice as we thought it might be. Yeah, and I've, I've, I've got the picture a bit in the dark just so you can see the, the kind of surroundings room. You're get, getting a lovely, our, our room, number 40, has, has two windows yeah. looking out over beautiful countryside you know not, not, not just, just like a lawn it's proper moorland proper basically. moorland with trees and and wild grass and little yeah. lakes I, I guess the lakes are artificial there's lovely little waterfalls and the hotel looks nice yeah and um, what goodies have we got here i, I noticed there's some water with the so we've got sparkling water does that say um, that's actually from from the spa on the land it gets refilled is it that what it says from our land there's a little laser cut thing on it what's that say and it says please leave me to be refilled yeah so that's good um, so there's there's no sparkling water shipped from somewhere else in yeah. plastic bottles it's a refill so refill that's of bottles. the water tastes nice it's got Excellent. a minerally taste to it give me some water <laughs> Thank you. It's almost like a bit of minerally kind of taste going on. Mm. Um, that is nice. And then that's a fair trade tea company clipper, I isn't it? In a clipper box. I think so. Yeah. So there's lots of clipper teas, which we're probably not interested in. <laughs> no. Yeah. But there's classic tea. There's some kind of red fruit berry infusion, which I guess for people who didn't like caffeine Ooh, would oh, like gray. it. Oh, grey. Which I know. I might try that. On. And the decaf, which is great if people want decaf. There's also decaf coffee, coffee bags, which coffee is really bags. good. Because Taylor's is a semi-righteous company, I think, as well, yeah. isn't it? Possibly. Oh. I don't know. And then there's... Oh, there's one with a little squirrel on it. So <laughs> That's some more coffee, um, is it? Yeah, red with notes of apple, praline and granola, which, I don't know, seems a bit odd thing. Um having coffee but so that's a coffee both the same picture and then there's lakeland milk which i guess there is local i don't know yeah and sugars a big huge gravy thing of hot chocolate there's only one but it's probably enough for two cups <laughs> oh some posh cookies and then there. these really posh looking shortbread biscuits which in the service station i think they sell these in about two pound fifty for the little little thing of two biscuits because they have the same ones at Gloucester Services, um, yeah, and they're just really simple shortbread biscuits, no additives, just nice simple things. Nice. Um, so that would be nice. So that's what we've got. Um, I think there's some soap in the bathroom and some shower gel and that sort of mm-hmm. thing. I could bring it through if you wanted. Um, probably not. Okay. I know I've, I've been having a look at some of the some of the furniture. That the, the drawers sort of slide out nicely. There's there's three big drawers in here and a cupboard and a clothes rail with some coat hangers 
and a, a nice um, roll-out shelf, a couple of bedside tables, a radiator you can turn off. It's very hot in here at the moment, so we're going to turn that one off. And a window that actually opens. You couldn't climb out of it, but you can open it. So that's, that's good. That's yeah. something you wouldn't get. Oh, you've got this nice brown paper yeah, this instructions thing. Actually, yeah, this does say about how it was opened in 1972 by Barbara and John Dunning here were farmers and it was the motorway was built across their land. And it's still the only family run motorway service station in the UK road network. I guess that includes Gloucester services as well. Um, the rooms make use of local materials. So there's really nice wool blankets on the bed. Mm. Um and I don't know what other look there's nice wooden panelling. Yeah. This just feels kind of tasteful and nice, not like a travel lodge. Um There's a TV here if you want it as well. So we can so, watch um, Winter Paralympics. Yeah, with a HDMI socket um, as well if you've got your laptop. So that's <laughs> always checking the tech stuff. Yeah. And they they yeah, the farm shop sells as many local produce, so that's quite important. They do lots of meat. We don't eat meat, but I guess if you're someone who eats meat then they it's all local yeah organic free range type things could be good quality meat but it might be a bit expensive but it'll be um, worth it probably and we're near penrith and somewhere called red Ged, which is well worth a visit it's got 10 <laughs> shops and three cafes and a gallery which allows them to showcase the best cumbria has to offer mm. and a cinema and opera and ballet so it's quite the center of culture <laughs> What a happening place, isn't it? Oh, and apparently there's another one in Scotland, another place you can stay in Scotland. Ooh, Cairn Lodge, Lodge Services. So maybe if we're going to the right bit of Scotland, we could try that. Yeah. And then there's Gloucester Services, which is our favourite, um, because it's, we get there quite often. A bit nearer our house. <laughs> it's near our house. So it's about half an hour from our house in practice. Um, yeah. So I think we're going to go off and have a walk around yeah. while it's still light. So it says that the, the bedspreads are made from Herdwick wool spun in Cumbria. Um, the curtains are some kind of tweed made of their own design. And actually, if you look really closely, it is like, I didn't realise, but it is like a tweed. Oh, yes. It's quite nice. It would be nice to have a skirt or something made of that. <laughs> Don't steal the curtains. Um, the bathroom floor is apparently Cumbrian slate. Hey. And the wooden furniture is made by local joiners from Kendall, Kirkby, Stephen. So that's the crafted bedrooms, actually, not ours. But ours are still pretty nice. Mm. Um, we've got, like, our bedroom is the more basic one, but it seems like a really nice bedroom. Yeah. Um, and they're designated pet-friendly rooms, so you can bring your pet. I assume that means cats and dogs, not horses or <laughs> yeah. alpacas or anything. We didn't spot a lift, did we? Well, there were lifts going to other rooms, ah, right. um, so I did have to carry my suitcase up the stairs. I didn't ask, and also when I filled out the booking, I think I ticked that we had no accessibility needs, so mm -hmm. it may be that we're in the wing that doesn't have a lift. And I'm sure if we'd asked, maybe someone would have given us a Yeah, I suppose we'd have done. The, the staff um, we've met so far seemed quite friendly, didn't we? Yeah. It wasn't at all officious or anything. It seems no, they seem nice. Sort of human. Um yeah, they seemed nice. And when I had problems with the confirmation emails, they were helpful on the phone and sent them to a different email address because it wouldn't work on my personal one. So, yeah, I think so far, and just walking in the room was really nice, wasn't it? Because we just saw this kind of, we come in and you see the window in front of you with a kind of beautiful yeah, view. Yeah, beautiful view. Um, and there's a lounge downstairs with an open fire and a restaurant. So, yeah, we don't often stay in hotels, so it's sort of no. exciting for that reason yeah. as well. It doesn't feel like a kind of inaccessibly posh, does it? it it's it's nice, but, but without being afraid to touch anything posh. Yeah, and it's not all frilly or anything. It's yeah, it's like nice nice things, but plain. Which yeah. is so all the wooden furniture is just, and the cupboards are just really nicely made, but they're just really plain. There's lots of natural stone and mm. the building outside. It, it's yeah, it's, it's not like a. A travel lodge sort of you know um, prefab no. sort of thing it's it seems a bit unique yeah yeah so we're gonna have an explore now yeah